So we are going to do our first um, multiple part, um, I guess you would say, videos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this up in parts. I've got stages. Um, I'm not going to go real crazy with the build on it. I know some people get a little bored with that. So what I'm, what I'm planning on doing is just showing as I go along. I'll try to keep the video short, five, ten minutes, something like that. And we'll just, you know, as time goes on, we'll show the progression. And then uh, once I get it all done, we'll take it out, give it its first little run, and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. I mean, it's going to be an animal. All right, so let me get some lights on here to where we can see. All right, so what we had done, we had taken the top off, okay, and the back piece is off. There's the new cage that's going to go on there. Again, just to give you reference, that's what it's going to look like when it's done. Um, there's the paint that we're going to paint. Should look pretty sick. Got some decals and stuff I want to put on it. Um, while I had this apart, I'm working on a couple things. Uh, back here, I am uh, making a new gasket. Um, I can order one if I want to wait a month for it to come from China, but I don't feel like doing all that crap. So I'm making one. Um, I actually already have it cut right here. Uh, it's just made out of uh, gasket paper. I forget what the thickness is there. But I've got a whole roll of this, so I figured what the hell. And yeah, I gotta got a mess here with my workstation right now. Um, basically what I've done is I added a brand new uh, battery tray, receiver box, whatever you want to call that. The old one had a break right here. Uh, super glued it a couple times, you know, trying to get by with it for right now. Um, wasn't really having it. Um, I upgraded the servo here. The other one was going out the throttle servo. These are the ones I got from Banggood. They're 25 kilogram servos, just cheapy off, off brand GX servo or whatever. Focus in on that. There we go. Uh, adding a new Roven fuel tank. Um, this one's pretty nice. Uh, the Roven Baja and the uh, King Motor and HPI, they all pretty much fit. Uh, most, most parts, if not all, uh, are interchangeable. So I opted for the Roven tank. I like the cap, plus it has a breathable um, piece right here, which is very nice. Um, I might clean up my carburetor. When I took it off, I just took it off like a month ago. When I took it off, it was fine. Um, I added a new gasket in there a while back. So I'm pretty sure that's fine, but we'll check it out. Um, I'm still going through. Ignition coil looks fine if this thing will ever focus in on that. Anyway. Uh, ignition coil is fine. This is a fairly new NGK plug. Um, still not sure exactly what kind of a uh, an engine I have here, but uh, I know that it's a uh, modified uh, block. Um, let me show you what I'm looking at on the inside when you take these apart. All right, so I got you a little position there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bump over. Get a little light in here where you can see. Uh, I'm going to bump over the um, um, pull start so you can kind of see what's inside there. See the piston moving a little bit? See if I can get it to fall down a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we can see a little bit in there. There we go. Alright, now I need to reposition the light in there a little bit better. It's kind of hard to see guys, I know. Um, yeah, get it back here. Just have to zoom in if you really want to see it. No scarring. It's a little dry on, on the inside in there. Um, the fuel mixture that I was using for the two-stroke, the uh, oil mix, I think I was going with a 70 to 1. I was checking it out. Obviously, you can see that it won't hurt it, um, but I'm probably going to go back to something similar to like a 50 to 1, 40 to 1, 50 to 1, something like that. I just I feel like it's better better maintenance on the engine uh, later on down the road I don't want to have any more issues with it um, as I said it's a fantastic truck so I want to take care of it yeah um, this is a battery meter I added a while back this guy's pretty cool so when you turn him on get underneath here 
There we go. See how it tells the voltage on the battery? No more guessing. No more expensive fixes for adding it to the receiver, any of that jazz. Uh, this is like a $2 or $3 part. Um, very simple to install. You just plug it into an empty slot on the receiver. You're good to rock and roll. So, some things that I'm thinking about doing. It's going to take me a minute, but um, the tires that are on here now, I love these tires. Um, these are the Roven, what are these called? MT, I think, whatever. Um, they're good tires, but the beadlocks, as you can see, have seen better days. They continually pop out in certain areas. Um, it's just, it's getting to be the end of its life, so that's cool. I do have others to put on it. I have these on the bottom here are brand new. They're X-Max tires, not for an X-Max truck. That's the brand name. Um, they're actually made for a Roven. And I have these sand tires. So I'm thinking about running these for a little bit. Um, most of what I do is in the dirt anyway, so that won't hurt it. Um, yeah, I think it might be a, a good fit. And as you can see, I have boxes of tires. There's one box. I got another one under there. The one under there is exclusively fifth scale. But nothing's really that fantastic. So um, I have a couple tires like what's on the Red Cat down here, but I don't want the same setup on every truck. So um, I'm going to try some different stuff see, out. We're making some progress. Um, we still have other things to do here. Like I've got to do some paint. Um, I got tons of decals. As you can see, tons of decal. Um, and my screw mess that I have down here. Uh, I know it looks like a mess, but I got it laid out to where I know where everything is. So, um, once I get this bad boy back together, it's going to be uh, fairly nice. I decided I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm just going to install this cracking kit. Later on, I may install So, for those of you that don't know, kit. there is a Y kit. Um, that they make for the Roven that would fit on this. So basically what it does is each one of these arms, it would extend them out. Uh, I think it's four inches on each side. So the end of it would be more like somewhere right, right here and then the tire. So it would be about that much further out on each side. That's super wide. And then in the back, it comes with the longer shafts so that you could do the same thing at the back. Obviously that's gonna give you a lot better um, control um, mainly it's made for when you stuff a big engine like a 45 cc or a 36 or whatever in there um, you know and you're starting to bore things out and, and uh, kind of modify them pretty heavily um, it keeps it fairly planted you know on the ground now you're gonna wheelie a lot but um, without that you know I don't think you could really get much speed or anything out of it because it would just be too narrow as you can see right here, this is more of a sand rail setup, uh, like a desert sand rail buggy, whatever you want to call that. Um, that's originally what the setup's for. And obviously this is uh, very good for many different applications, but it's not going to be good for stuffing a 45cc or a 36cc in there and going to town full force. So I may install one of those later. Um, I kind of want one just to kind of play around with it, but you know, I started thinking about things and I'm not gonna get what I've got in this truck out, <clears throat> which you never do, I know that. But I started thinking, do I really need to get rid of it? Um, and the answer to that is really no. Uh, it's a great, fantastic truck. I love making videos with it. I love playing with it. So I've decided to keep it. Be sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned, more coming.